when the disparity, uh, the difference in terms of wealth ownership is not so so big, it's all right. It's all right. It will be will happen like that because we can't equalize. Yeah. The thing is not to equalize the uh, the wealth of everybody, but to have a fair distribution of wealth. Which means that yeah, you you are not as good as the others. Maybe you will not be as rich as them, but at least the difference is not so great. You see, historically, all the revolutions are due to disparities between rich and poor. Huh? The French Revolution, the Russian Revolution, even the industrial uh, uh, development of Britain. You know the. The workers were very angry because their bosses were making so much money and they were paid a pittance. And see, so we must reduce the disparity. If you reduce the disparity, the jealousy, the envy would be reduced. The country would be stable. Then the country would grow because stability is what contributes to the growth of the country. But if you have a constant fight between Rich and poor, which may flare up into violence, into civil wars, then the country cannot grow. Well, I don't know about supporting him, but uh, I mean working with him, but. Uh, for three months when he became Prime Minister, I did not make any comment. I didn't condemn him. I wanted to see what he's going to do. He has uh, adopted the kind of strategy that Najib had, undermining all those who are against him. He went against me, expelled me from the party. He uh, took all the leaders of the party division, told them, you don't support him, you get up. You know, many were expelled. Only those who support him were allowed to stay on as leaders of Basati. So I find that uh, Mohidin is not true to his promises. When we, were, we formed Pusatu before, we were against corruption. We were against Najib. He was prepared to work with Najib. I asked him, you you prepared to work with Najib? You have said so many things against Najib. He said, oh, this is politics, he said. Principle doesn't count. So I find that I kind of work with a person like that. That Mohidin became the Prime Minister is because of his manipulation. So I was quite prepared to work with uh, Pakatan Harapan, uh, made up of Amana, DAP, and Kahdilan. Unfortunately, Anwar didn't want me. He refused to have me at all, even if it is only for six months. He said no. So if he said no, I cannot work with him. And see, so at the end, I decided, and then somebody, uh, Guan Ying, uh, DAP, suggested, not me, give it to Shafi Abdal. I agree. But even Shafi Abdal is not acceptable to Anu. He wants to be named Prime Minister, and nothing else. You see, so we can't work with him. You see, how can we support him when he doesn't want us at all? In fact, when he made this statement recently that he has necessary uh, support, but not including me not including my party. So again, I'm uh, excluded. So that is why uh, the Guan Ying suggested Ashafi Abdal, because it's a way of getting rid of me because I know they didn't like it. 
So it was a compromise uh, candidate. Yeah, it was a compromise. I, I was prepared to accept. But what if... I suppose the question is, is do you feel unwise? Not, uh, you know, not qualified for the job of, of Prime Minister? I know has a lot of people who are against him. The problem with him is that if I am accepted, then a lot of people who are my supporters will join. But if I am not accepted, accepted, many will pull out. So he will not have the majority. But so you believe his claim is well it untrue is, until proven true? Or? Yeah, the thing is that he, he adopts that attitude. And now he claims that he has support of uh, 30 people, 30 people. But we ask him who? Everybody has denied. Sarawak has denied. Sabah said no. Uh, Amno also, uh, except for uh, Zahid, mm. who says individual can join. But we, who are the individual? You see? So we want to know if you have the majority or not. Well, I wish I could have chosen better <laughs> successors. You see, I initially I thought that my deputy was Musa Itam. You see, but then he went against me. Of course, then there was uh, Tunku Zali also went against me, and then I had to choose Anwar. Anwar also went against me, and then. I chose uh, Abdullah. Abdullah, when he became Prime Minister, he immediately cancelled all my projects. And then I chose Ajiv. I think I've been choosing the wrong people. They, on the surface, they look good, but the moment they are given power, they change. Well, if we can, yeah, if we are not, uh, but my, my, my view is that the people are not yet uh, prepared for real election, you know. People vote, not because the party is good, but because he is my party. That's all. Mm -hmm. You see, and you do that, the same people will be elected. And you'll find that there will be a hung parliament mm. uh, with nobody having a real majority. This government now has a majority of 2%. Before, majority of the government was very, very high. I had five elections and I had two-thirds majority each election. So I was able to form a strong government. I, have, I could withstand all kinds of uh, attacks against me. Really? I was called a dictator, I was called corrupt, I was involved in cronyism, all kinds of things. Why we can criticize, things were done. The development of the country went on. You can see all the things that happened during my time because the government was strong. But if you have an election and you have again a uh, very a hung parliament or a very small majority unable to do anything because like now if three person have stomach ache and didn't enter parliament parliament will fall i mean what kind of government is that 